Down here behind the creeper. Oh, nice shot. You got him. Uh, well, no, you didn't. You got the wrong guy. But, uh, well, friendly fire. It happens. We get it. But, uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Close that door. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number, I believe it's nine. Is it nine? Nine. Llamas say nine, <laughs> and they know how to count. So yeah, episode number nine, we're picking up where we left off here. After the end of the last episode, we went out and did some uh, branch mining. We'll find some diamonds, and we got plenty of diamonds here. So we are going to use these diamonds today. Hey, where are you going? Oh my gosh, I think uh, I think they want to hang out with, with Waldo. Waldo, you gave me these llamas. Yes, you did. A long time ago. They're mine now. I even tamed them. Look. See that? I tamed them. So it looks like uh, Waldo's going to steal his llamas back. <laughs> you never take a man's llamas, Waldo. You should know better. All right, what do we got here for trades? Uh, slime ball is actually pretty good. Blue eyes is interesting. I have a few emeralds, yeah. All right, don't go away, Waldo. Let's go see what we got here. Whoops. Oh, he is in the house. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> this actually works out pretty well. Let's first make this trade. Yeah, I'm gonna give you four emeralds. You're gonna give me a slime ball. It's lovely. Let's plop it right there in that frame. And now, um, hold on a sec. Don't you go anywhere, Waldo. Don't you go anywhere just yet. There we go. Look at this. We now have a merchant in our house. <laughs> um, he will sooner or later despawn, is my guess. And we're going to end up with, well, four llamas and maybe two more leads. All right. So what were we doing again? Right. We're going to make a tutorial. In fact, I have a plan today. First, we're going to do some stuff with the diamonds, and then we're going to go over to the desert and build up a, uh, a disc, music disc farm. So there are several music discs in the game, and you can play them on this right here. It is called a jukebox, and you, you can make a jukebox with a diamond. So that's why I want to make this today. I want to use up some of our diamonds, and there's the jukebox. So we're going to put it right here next to Waldo, so we can have some fine... Uh, store music playing here in the store. That would be really, really cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any music discs, so it's pretty useless right now. Which means we're going to go out and get these discs. There's actually a couple of ways to get them. One of the ways is to actually go out and hunt them down in dungeons. We have not found a dungeon yet in this series, um, but hopefully we can find one eventually. And you don't always find... A, uh, a, a disc in the in the treasure chest in the dungeon, but there's a good chance you can. Now I need I'm gonna need some things, pal. You're in my way. I'm gonna need some glass for this project today, and we're gonna need some doors for this project. So we're gonna go make the farm in the desert. I'm gonna show you everything we need, and let's make some of the stuff that we don't have available, and that would include a couple of. Uh, whoops, I need. I'm gonna need maybe one gate. Well, I'll make two gates. I'm not sure exactly how many. I'm just spitballing here. Grab a few fence. Not too many. And we're going to need a few trap doors. So I have a very specific design for this thing. And I have a secret ingredient. This is the secret ingredient. It's going to be amazing when you guys see it. There are several um, tutorial videos, videos out there. Where are you going, Mud? You ready? Mud's coming along to help us with this project, by the way. Um, yeah, I've seen a few of the, ep the the videos out there on creeper disc farming. Because uh, basically, to get the discs from a creeper, well, the other method, I should say, is by having a skeleton kill a creeper. Are you coming, Mud? Oh, Mud's going to sit here. Whatever. Um, so you have to have a skeleton accidentally kill a creeper, and then it will drop a disc, one of the music discs. So, again, there are 12 of them. You don't know which one you're going to get randomly. Oh! Oh, no! All those drinking is invisibility potion. <laughs> you can't fool me, pal. I know you're back there. Oh, you have milk this morning. Oh, can I have some milk? I'd like some cereal. I didn't know you had any milk. He doesn't sell the milk, unfortunately. He just drinks it to get rid of the uh, invisibility effect. So, yeah, he just went invisible because he was worried that the uh, sun went down and he was going to get eaten by a zombie, but he doesn't realize he's nice and safe in here. In the hidey hole. No, Mud, aren't you coming? All right, fine. Then, Brittany, you want to come? We'll take Brittany. Mud had his opportunity, but he blew it. So, all right, let's go, Brittany. We're going to head over to the uh, to the desert and get this job done. I'm going to close that door. I don't want anybody else to escape. And we're going to take the donkey. Oh, I don't have a name for the donkey yet. Dang it. Yeah, so we need a name for the donkey. Put 
a uh, put your suggestions down in the comments below and um, I will choose one eventually all right away we go to the desert let's go Brittany aka Brit and then we'll get this job done all right ooh, ooh, ooh. I hear bones and that would be absolutely perfect because we need a skeleton for our contraption here we're gonna trap him in a little uh, a little space and then keep him out of the Sun so he doesn't burn up and then we're gonna use him to shoot the creepers and then the creepers will drop uh, music discs they always drop a music disc so it's 100% chance as long as you can get the skeleton to shoot the creeper dead all right so this is super super simple guys let's go ahead and get started the first thing we want to do is make a space for the skeleton right now skeletons will burn up in the Sun so we need to protect the skeleton from burning up we want him here for at least long enough to get a few discs and then uh, when we leave this chunk he's gonna he, he'll despawn unless we can give him a name if we had a name tag unfortunately I do not have a name tag so that is not going to help us but we want to drop him down in here um, and we're gonna put um, well what sit oh mod you are here <laughs> mud decided to join us after all isn't that adorable we're gonna go down uh, one like so in fact we're just gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine about ten for right now this is going to be a channel holding water that's going to push the creeper back over here the skeleton is going to be in this little shack over here shooting at us hiding behind the, the creeper and then uh, the creeper will not be able to get to the skeleton because he's over here beyond the water and the creeper can't swim now can he so this is going to work out perfectly we're going to go ahead and put a door in right there make sure it opens in like so we're going to grab a bucket of water and pour it out right there so you have one block of water and the skeleton's gonna stand in there as soon as we go find one we actually don't need all this here just yet let's take all this down so the hardest part really is getting the skeleton in here so uh, before it burns up and we want him to stay here at least for a day or two <laughs> at least for today's exercise i'm gonna put some more cobble here and the fence is going to prevent the skeleton from running away when the sun goes down and he's safe again but typically when a mob burns up or if, it, um, if it's an undead mob for example it will try to run and hide in some shade or the nearest water so that they don't burn or they stop burning so the whole idea here is to get a well, i'm gonna have to bring that up a little bit um to get a skeleton to hop down here and get out of the sunshine so we're gonna have to wait till night time um, to get a skeleton and then we'll make it day and they'll run hopefully one will run right over here and jump in that little bit of water there we go um so yeah that will be shaded under there let's get rid of that and while we're waiting for nightfall and skeletons to come out we might as well finish up the rest of our contraption here excuse me mud so we have our booth for the skeleton we just have to get a skeleton which we will do later tonight and now we're going to go ahead and dig out our channel for the water so let's just get on down here we're going to go eight blocks that away so one two three four five six seven and eight and we're going to actually take that block out and put a piece of glass here and we can remove that one as well so as we have learned in a previous tutorial that water will flow when you spill a bucket it should flow out eight blocks and then stop right so that is perfect right where we want it so now we're going to come over here and this is where we're going to stand behind this uh little glass here or actually underneath it you're going to see how we do that in a moment my secret ingredient coming up <laughs> Um, and the skeleton is going to shoot at us and he's going to hit the creeper which is going to be stuck in this channel at least that is how this thing is designed and it's supposed to work and I like to have a little shack here for us to safely sit inside so nothing can come and bother us um, we're going to build up those walls in a moment but before we do that I want to show you guys the secret ingredient this is just amazing I actually figured this out by accident and I love it <laughs> Uh, we're gonna dig down right here. We're gonna go down in the channel and we're gonna grab a trap door 
Doesn't matter what kind of wood, they all work the same. Oh, Bunny, what you doing? A Bunny wants to test this out for us. That's fine. So if we put a trap door here, right at the top of that block there, we're going to go down here and meet that little bunny. So this is the secret ingredient, and it's so cool. If you stand down here in the block with the trap door, and you right-click the trap door, thereby closing it. Hi, buddy. How's it going down here? Man, you got to do something about that. Here, get out. Out. Get out of here. <laughs> And check it out, we're now in the crawl position. This is the, kind of the swim position, right? Now that swimming has been added, uh, in the, and I guess it was in the aquatic update, right? Uh, we have this swimming animation, and if you are under a, if you get caught under a trap door, then it squishes you down into the crawl animation, or crawl position, or swim position, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, it doesn't matter. The point is, it works, and we're gonna hide down there underneath the creeper, right around his toes, and uh, the skeleton's gonna shoot at us while we're down there and hopefully hit the creeper. That's kind of the whole point. Now, we're not done though. There's a couple of things we can do here as well. We can put a door here, um, a gate rather, right? So we can put a gate here just in case. We don't necessarily have to have this, but the one thing you don't want to happen is if you're down here having a grand old time getting shot at from the skeleton over there and you kind of slip out, then the creeper's going to explode. Now, the good news is, if the creeper explodes while he's in water, it won't damage anything in here, right? That's the other beauty of this particular design. It will it will remain intact, nothing gets destroyed, although you will take some damage. You will take some explosion damage, but um, the structure will not will not take any damage. So that's, uh, that's a little added bonus. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this structure, and we're just gonna put up some basic walls here. I'm going to put some glass here too, and we do not want to get shot while we're standing here, right? Because we might want to pop out occasionally, so I think I'm going to put a uh, trap door up here too, and we can close that, and then the skeleton can't see us. And I, I suppose you can actually stand here, right? Stand here with a shield, hold your shield up, and then just have the creeper shoot at you up here. Yeah, this was my original design, and it took a really long time with the skeleton to hit the creeper with his arrows, or it bounce off my shield and then ricochet into the creeper, but it took way too long, and I discovered that this little trick with that trap door is way more reliable. You can just lie down at the creeper's feet, and the skeleton shoots directly at you. It's, it actually works really, really well. You know what? I better finish this up before nightfall. Do I have a door? Yeah, there's my door. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So, yeah, let's get a little roof up here to protect ourselves from spiders. Oh, one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do some redstone with you guys, right? So, yeah, let's make a lever. A lever is just cobble and a stick. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of not necessary, but it could be fun to have... If you want to open this door remotely, you can put some redstone. Where's that dang door? Uh, I think it's on that one. So, watch out, mud! Yeah, we want to come out over here, actually. And then put the lever here. Close that. And then... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I messed that up somehow. Let me just double check. Oh, boy. Here comes the zombies. Great. I don't want zombies. I want skeletons. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can get this part to work before this guy comes in. Ow, oh, dang it, you turkey. This isn't what I want. Oh, <laughs> oh look, we have a volunteer to test it out. Unfortunately, um, zombies don't drop music discs. Excuse us, mud. I'm going to go right on over here and put our lever right there. There we go. That works. Fantastic. Now we can close and open the door from inside a little shelter. Dude, you do not belong here. Hey, let's try this out. Let's go down here and see if I can punch him in the toes. No, I can't. See, I can't do that with that gate there, but I can certainly do this. There we go. Ah, never saw it coming. Sneak attack. <laughs> but again, I think I want to have this down here for safety purposes. We're going to let the skeleton do all the dirty work anyway. Of course, we've got to get a skeleton. So let's go find one. Oh, there's a skeleton, too. Once we get these two guys in here, we can just... Uh, sometimes they make it across, and sometimes they don't. There we go. Perfect. Perfect! Ooh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Die. This, again, this is the hardest part right here, is just getting skeleton up and over and down. Let's see. Let's try to draw this fool over here. Oh, here he comes. Okay, great. Oh, no. Look at these guys over here. Oh, darn. Oh, gosh. 
darn it. Gosh, gosh, darn it. I mean, you know, we could cheat one in and try to get him in here, but this is a legit playthrough. Look at the party going on in my disc factory 9000. Craziness. Oh, and another one. <laughs> we only want the creepers, but we'll take anybody. We'll take anybody. Of course, I'm not going to be able to sleep with those guys down there, too, right? Duh. That was kind of silly. All right, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to take the bed. And we're going to go over here and sleep. Somewhere close to the skeleton, but not too close. Let's see if he runs over here. Okay, that's good. And maybe we can draw him in. Yeah, can we do it? Over here, buddy. Look it. Over here, we have shelter and water. Come on. Over here, bud. Hurry it up. He's focusing on us. That's the problem. Get in the water quick. Get in the water quick. Yeah, you did it, buddy. All right. He saved himself. How nice. Now we're going to make sure he doesn't die by covering all this up. He's in his little, his little booth here. <laughs> Keep him nice and safe. Cover him up all the way around. We don't want to lose this guy. Super important. But like I said, he will eventually despawn. And that's a problem. Um, but we only need him for the one day. Now, can he shoot out there? Yeah, he has enough space to shoot. Let's make sure there's no holes anywhere. Yeah, we don't want him to burn up. This is very, very important. Okay, now. Now the moment of truth. Watch this, guys. It's amazing. Let's close the door so nobody gets in. Ooh. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So now the fun begins. We can just close that. Or, again, we can do it this way. Watch this. Uh, open this up. Get the shield up. And he's going to shoot at us. Ooh, open that. Close it, rather. And now he's going to shoot at us really badly. And he'll miss a gazillion times. And you see that? Ricocheted off the shield. Hit the creeper. Creeper's like, oh, come and get Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> the creeper saw me! No, that creeper saw me and blew up. Oh, would you stop? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. So th th there were so many mobs in there. The creeper actually did see me. And he blew up. And like I said, he didn't do any damage to the structure. So that was that was all for science I meant to do that. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he killed everybody there, including the other creepers. All right, well, let me go collect some creepers. Not a big deal. We'll get a few more in here, and we'll do it proper like. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'll draw a couple in. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I've got one creeper inside the Music Disc Factory 9000, and now another, and that's about it. We don't want to overdo it. You saw what happened when we have had a big mob in there, right? So I think two. Oh, there's another one over there. You know what? Let's not, let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. That's what happened in the first try. I, uh, I got cocky. So let's just do the two. We're going to go ahead and open up our skeleton booth. Are you ready, skeleton? He looks ready. Okay, hold on. Not yet. We're going to go down here. We're going to climb down, close that, and we're down by the feats. And we can open it up, and hopefully that creeper does not see us. The creeper does not see us. Yay! It works. However, the skeleton does, and he's no, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, it looks like they do, but we can close this, I suppose, right? If they do happen to see us, if you hear the sizzle, then just close the gate. So that's another reason we want this gate here. Yeah, but I really think if you have just one creeper, it's not going to be an issue. But having more than one in here or other mobs, it could, uh, could potentially expose our position. So we don't want that to happen. Oh my gosh, if this creeper, if the skeleton could hit something, there we go. Music disc! We got it! We got Malohi! Woohoo! Yay! We got a music disc. Keep shooting, buddy. Over here, behind the creeper. Yoo-hoo! Nice! <laughs> Keep shooting. You'll get us eventually. I know you will. No Robin Hood this guy. Yay! Good shooting, Tex. Close that gate. And let's climb on out of here. Whoop! We go. And we should have two music discs. Yes, we do indeed. We have Chirp. And we have Malohi, and I didn't even bring the jukebox, did I? Well, that was silly. We're just going to have to go back to Heidi Hole and uh, play the music there with our new friend, uh, Waldo, who's in our shelter waiting for us to come home. But I, I want to get more. I want more. Let's go see if there's any more creepers around here, and maybe we can get a couple more discs. 
All right, guys, we have one last little sad creeper here in our music disc factory at 9,000. And we're going to do this a little bit differently this time. Let's put the shield in. So this might be a little bit safer with larger crowds, especially. So if we're up here, we might not be seen. Oh, boy. Okay, well, he did jump up and see us for a split second. But if we stay hidden up here, this still might work. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of ricochets, I think. And maybe multiple shields. What are you shooting at over there, Skeleton? Over here, buddy. Oh, my gosh. If you could hit the broad side of a barn, this would be a lot faster. Yeah, this way takes a lot longer, I think. So I'm just going to go down here. Much easier. There we go. Direct line of line of fire. Down here behind the creeper. Oh, nice shot. You got him. Uh, well, no, you didn't. You got the wrong guy. But, uh, well, friendly fire. It happens. We get it. But, uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Close that door. <laughs> Drop that bow, pal. You're off duty for now. Anyway, what did we get? What did we get? We got stall. Awesome. And we have Chirp and Malohi. And now we're going to head back to our base. Back to Heidi Hole and uh, listen to our music discs. Unfortunately, our friend here is going to despawn. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Home is right there. He might not. But if we had a, um, like I said, if we had a name tag, we could name him. And then he would he would not despawn. So that is something we hope to find in the future. And we'll just get a different skeleton to help us out with our music disc uh, factory here. So, all right. So that's it right there. Music disc factory... 9,000. Pretty cool stuff. And now we're going to go back and play some of our new tunes on our jukebox. And hopefully Waldo's still here. I don't know. I don't hear him. I don't hear him. I don't see the llamas. I think he's gone. Oh, no. Looks like he's taking the day off. Did he leave his leads behind? Yeah, they've, they've despawned by now. Oh, well, unfortunately, a friend Waldo is gone. He's going to miss out on all the awesome music. Well, you know what? His loss. You might come back. <laughs> All right, Mud, have a seat. Are you ready? Which one do you want to listen to first? We don't have Cat. No, we don't have Cat. I just said we don't have Cat. How about Chirp? All right, we'll play Chirp. Ready? On three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel it in me bones. That's good. Let me back up over here by the fire. Anybody want to join me? Coleco? Come on, Coleco. Let's see your moves. I know you got the moves. Let's see them. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm... No, you guys don't know how to dance, do you? All right, fine. I'll just dance alone. Yeah, story of my life. All right, let's try another one quick. <laughs> now to pop it out, you just right-click, put the other one in. Here we got stall. Ooh, jazzy. Oh, man, that is classy. Makes me want to snap my fingers. Except, uh, well, I don't have any. All right, that's uh, style. And let's listen to the final one, which is Malohi. What is Malohi all about? What's that? Scary, right? Yeah, I agree. Let's not do that one. Let's go back to Chirp. Chirp is fun. Chirp is a much more lighthearted tune, so let's stick with Chirp. All right. With that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.